street sports and technology the role of technology in sports achievement uh, we will be focused more on a physical just a design element or a tool to attract new participants and better results ladies and gentlemen the strength and conditioning coach for latvian national 3x3 basketball team olympic gold uh, medal winners in 2021 and uh, partly thanks to our next guest make some noise davis fakeners sveiks davi sveiks lūdzu ja ja tu esi dzirdējis pirms tam tieši tā paldies stage is yours thank you okay hello everyone uh, nice to see you uh, my name is uh, davis fakeners and um as already it was mentioned, I'm a strength conditioning coach uh, of the um, yep, Latvia's men's national three-on-three -three team. Uh, that it was an honor to become, together with them, Olympic champions. Uh, also, I'm working with the professional basketball players, uh, also with uh, children uh, at the basketball school and other kinds of sports. So my uh, topic today is street sport technology. Uh, the role of technology in sporting achievement is it just a design element or a tool to attract new participants and better results so um, it's 21st century and it's all about new technology as you already know every year we have more and more new kinds of technologies sensors uh, cameras uh, and new stuff uh, to attract uh, new new uh, people to become more more addicted to sports move your butt from the couch start to start to be more active and uh, yeah every year it's becoming more and more uh, and uh, it's it's also very interesting where we will be after 10 20 or 100 years so let's go uh, oh, sorry something was very fast coming Mm, didn't so yep let's try yep here we go okay i would divide them in a fa five main categories uh, apps special live cameras game analytics wearable technology special training equipment rehabilitation and recovery tools so already know our life is uh, also like we are living through our cell phones and 90% of all sport technology is connected uh, through, your, through your mobile phones, your tablets, your, uh, and the mostly of them are just apps. Even you, even you have a just uh, a smartphone, you can already use technologies to measure your jump height, to measure your steps, calorie burns, your nutrition plans, how well are you disciplined, uh, use different kinds of apps for for example also like meditation breathing maybe somebody uses maybe some Wim Hof uh, breathing uh, apps no the, uh, the very famous Wim Hof uh, app is uh, from the guy who is also called the Iceman who uh, uses a lot of a uh, lot of uh, ice procedures uh, to re to recover uh, from from different kinds of stresses and also to calm his body uh, yeah the next big thing is the special live cameras game analytics mostly in team sports uh, for example uh, in basketball they use very much s synergy it's a special special uh, um, uh, company's uh, system uh, the, si the company provides all over the world uh, different kinds of gyms with special cameras and they gather information about every player when he's competing during the game uh, from which which uh, uh, spots from the of the court he makes shots he doesn't make shots how many moves he makes what kind of move he makes uh, where he's good where he's bad and uh, he gets he and you can get very much uh, uh, different kinds of uh, analytics about that player and it's especially it's very important if you're preparing to play against another team you can scout your opponent 
know his weaknesses and also his strength and then to be prepared uh, to compete against against them. Um, the next segment would be wearable technology. It's the I think the the biggest of the all uh, in uh, because it uh, involves uh, like uh, clothes, uh, smart watches, uh, bracelets, rings, uh, clothes, uh, footwear where you can put uh, inside of them different kind of sensors and uh, get a different kind of also information about your body, how, how are you, your breathing, recovery, your uh, uh, oxygen level in your blood, uh, and also very, very different kind of metrics that can you, you can use it as a professional sportsman or just a regular, uh, regular uh, people trying to, to increase your, uh, to develop your health. And uh, the fifth one would be rehabilitation and recovery tools. It's very important nowadays also for everyone, if you're all, if you, even if you're not a professional or e uh, eager uh, uh, amateur uh, to recover from previous uh, games, from previous workouts, and if you are more uh, recovered, also, the injury risks are lower uh, do, uh, doing these sporting activities. There we go. Yep. Why do we, why do we use these uh, some kind of uh, new technologies? And uh, there are a lot of benefits. Testing, because it's very important for me that I can test my athletes, uh, also uh, young athletes, uh, where we are uh, lacking, where we have to work more, and uh, as uh, the technologies are becoming uh, more, more and more, uh, also cheaper to buy, you can use it also for regular people. It doesn't always have to be just good paid professionals, and uh, it also motivates better my athletes. I can show them the results, and uh, and. Uh, and also test them, test them in uh, live exercises. For example, how much uh, they, for example, if you're lifting some some bar, for me it is not always how much weight they can lift. Maybe sometimes is how fast how fast they can lift the weight, or or how fast they can produce force and power. Because in the sports, it's very important uh, the power aspect, how fast you can do something in small amount of times, especially in, uh, in, a, in, a, in team sport games. So overall health and injury prevention, as I mentioned before, includes the re rehabilitation and also uh, uh, recovery tools. It's also very trendy, flashy, and functional. It looks cool, all these new gears. It's very stylish. So also it, it attracts uh, new participants. Uh, some small, some uh, mostly mostly uh, young people. Um, it's also a bigger buy-in for athletes. I will show later a video uh, that I uh, in the in the video you will see uh, the motivation for my athletes. For example, we are uh, as I mentioned before, uh, they have to lift some weight, uh, and already on the tablet you will see uh, the result how fast he is uh, moving the bar. And also, it motivates the uh, the athlete to do it more powerful, powerful, powerful. And you cannot cheat because the sensor is is counting every rep that you're doing, and uh, how strong, how fast uh, you're doing it. Um, yeah, belonging to different kinds of communities, especially for different kinds of apps. Uh, if you're like uh, a runner, yeah, there are many runners around the world. Uh, you can compete with them. Uh, and feeling that you're not alone, who's starting, for example, running or doing some activities, you can compare your uh, results uh, to your to your friends or to your to professionals. Try to catch their results. Uh, so uh, it's it's very it's very uh, uh, bringing people together. And also, as the uh, guys uh, were talking very much about the football. It would also, I think, maybe there is an app where you can just, you have, you're like a football player. You know a pitch outside the, inside the city and you want to play uh, like a football match, but you don't have like, like uh, buddies to play with. You use the app 
put the time, maybe there's somewhere else all around who could also like to participate and you can bring all together, use the technology uh, as this, this, this kind of together people to do something together. For example, also team building. Uh, you can use this kind of apps, for example, or get our boss, uh, uh, Raymond, he could to, uh, tell uh, his employees, so guys, I wanted you be more healthy, more active. So please, next month, I want that you have you have every day at least doing uh, 10,000 steps. If you do like this, I will raise your salary by five euros or ten euros. Maybe small amount, yeah. But uh, the employer uh, is interested that his uh, workers are more healthier. If they are more healthier, more well, more happier, they will show up more to the work. They will not. Not, not they will not be so uh, so ill yeah in long term the company wins you know and the same would be like uh, engagement in charities there are also uh, many companies that put challenges put challenges uh, to to different kinds of people for example the same if you like do a month with 10000 steps every day with uh, gathering steps we'll donate for example ten dollars to that kind of charity and also that uh, using this kind of apps gathering the information from your active daily activity uh, can 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 uh, do uh, do big big uh, a long way uh, uh, the dreams come true so and the last one uh, easy and fast availability for prof professional training plans and advices nowadays because of the internet it's more easy to get uh, professional training plans like for novices or for an intermediate or professional uh, level of athletes uh, with uh, different kinds of uh, uh, equipment or no equipment so it wouldn't be like possible 20 or 30 years uh, to write or, or meet a professional uh, coach and then and, and to ask him these questions nowadays it's it's uh, time of time of uh, uh, some minutes so yeah so let's go to the next one so yeah uh you'll see now we are using trap bar deadlifts in our training using special sensors that measure uh, the speed the power of uh, of every rep we're working with a three on three national team athlete his aim is to uh, push as hard as he can with the mid-range weight he cannot cheat yeah, because we count every rep, every every po powerful make or every powerful thing that he has to done. So in long term, we see these increments. Uh, if he's doing the same exercise, but he's very motivated uh, to do this uh, as as fast and powerful every time. And also we are use using this uh, in our basketball school. The kids also love it. Yeah, also incorporates more into using sports technologies and I think it's better way using phone and tablet like like only just scrolling as Austrian guys mentioned before yeah, just too much time spending in the in the in the just worthless scrolling okay the next one uh, I have also worked with the famous or famous ghetto athlete uh, Christoph Dargais one of the best uh, slam dunkers in the world I so have worked with him at, at least six years together. I started hi with him working when he suffered ACL tear. And then after uh, one year, a little bit more, we competed in 2008 after his first, uh, after the, his uh, injury. And uh, he was even more, more powerful, more strengthful. And he put very much work into his rehabilitation. And we used also lots of uh, different kinds of technologies to increase his power, his jumping abilities. In the next video, you will see uh, we're using this uh, Kaiser equipment. Uh, we're using this uh, air compression uh, to use as as a weight, and he will do the with the 200 kilos pressure, doing squats and with speed, not just only doing slowly, but as fast as he can. And then we use it the same on the basketball court when he's doing slam dunk contest yeah, and that's next video is from sorry once again it was too fast thank you 
yeah, in the slow motion. He's also here in Riga, 2018, when he won, split uh, the first place in King of Air. That was uh, that was a very very impressive. Yeah, yeah, and he was very in his 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 peak in in peak. At that time, he could jump like 369 reach. It is in meters, almost four meters. Yeah. So now he's also playing professionally. He still uh, can go over 350 now. Well, in because he's now a little bit like older, the performance decreases. But also you have to like use these technologies to motivate motivate him, to boost him, to have uh, his performance as long as we can. Um, okay. So we got this. Yeah, extreme sports and breakdance. Sometimes we're thinking about what does what what can we implement from the new sport technologies into these skillful sports that mostly based on skills. But what do we, when we think uh, if they all also incorporate training with uh, regular like regular strength and conditioning exercises become more resilient more powerful athletes they can also benefit from that kind of training for example a uh, skateboarder he's doing here a uh, kickflip but if he would like uh, train also uh, a strength conditioning workouts with special jumps measuring it become more powerful athlete for example it will increase his jumping abilities then he could ca carry over his physical abilities to jumping with the skateboard and if you can jump higher you have more time in the air if you have more time in the air you can pr make more uh, difficult tricks yeah and gain more points win competitions same would be also with uh, uh, BMX riders you can also put special sensors into your pedaling measure your power as powerful you you uh, make uh, these uh, acceleration before the jump, the higher you get into the jump, the, the bigger points you can get because you're longer in the air and you can do uh, more difficult stuff. Okay. Next. Oh, sorry. Once again. Yep. Here we go. Okay. How much is too much? Uh, to wrap it up, uh, don't be a cyborg or a robot covered with all kinds of sensors. Yeah? You know, you have to know your sport very well, what kind of uh, information and analytics you need to use. There's a saying, uh, too much analyze can you paralyze. Yeah? So use the information wisely. Uh, balance is the key. Yeah? And... Uh, yeah, that's that would be probably. Oh, thank you. Once again, thank you, Davis. Uh, yeah, uh, of course, it was uh, as always. It was uh, entertaining and interesting from you, and uh, uh, I'm sure it's a lot of new information. Uh, and also, somebody, of course, uh, uses technologies, but because we wired to our phones and we are push to but um, yeah questions uh, from you yeah it's the first time question from the first row test, test. easy thanks mm. for the presentation um, I got one question how or why did you start going this path uh, what made it so interesting to you in general health um. Because I'm, I'm already from the childhood, I was interested in different kind of technologies. And uh, especially also in Latvia, we're a small country. We have very, very uh, many kinds of uh, different kinds of sports. And we don't have like a big like population mass that is uh, in, into the sports. So you, we have like some, for example, hockey has some... I guess 100,000 like uh, athletes, basketball for 100, also 100,000 athletes. So we're a small country divided into many sports. And uh, you have for each each uh, sport people uh, very less because you, you have to work with uh, what you have. 
and you can't make like oh uh, they only work with naturally gifted uh, players so you have to uh, as a small country work smarter put technologies so we can be beat other countries uh, working smarter not harder not just by uh, gathering the best talent because the best talent is uh, in, di uh, in different kind of sports if you would have like our neighborhood country Lithuania it's only mostly in basketball yeah that's easier for them to pick basketball best basketball players but in uh, Latvia we are uh, split in very many sports so it's we have to work more smarter and yeah that's that's kind of way we can uh, make our players better using special technologies and to get these little percentages to be more uh, more uh, stronger faster athletes than the others so, yeah. all this thank you yeah understood why okay uh, there is uh, another question i see yep uh oh there is sound is there uh any future for those athletes who are not using any technologies? Uh, of course, uh, if they are uh, motivated by themselves, you know, that they don't need to compare uh, your results to others or show that you are very uh, trendy doing uh, everything and sh show it to the social media. If, if you are uh, 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 motivated without doing this, just go doing l healthy lifestyle, so you don't need this all of all of uh, kind of this, yeah. But if you want to be become uh, more professional, become more uh, more highly skilled and uh, physically stronger overall, then in long term uh, there will be time that you will start to use uh, the sports technologies. Or maybe this is a uh, that one factor, like let's say the. Uh, both both um, athletes are equally gifted, equally physically, everything. And one is using technology, one is not using. Maybe this is the w one thing which will help uh, to accelerate, uh, like excel over the other. Yeah, of course. And uh, also uh, using these dis di different kinds of apps, you're also disciplin disciplining yourself. Uh, maybe you're the other athlete would work all six or seven days doing the hard work but you also need to work smart maybe work five days get, get a one day rest two days rest and then you can long term you will uh, be the other athlete who's working as strong as he can every day just grinding 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 but in long term he will this land this land this land because overall overuse injuries and other kind of stuff okay thank you yeah, first of all, I want to say thanks for the uh, uh because uh, it's some absolutely amazing person, I think, in our country. Thank you very much for the job and things what you are doing. Maybe you have three ideas what we implement in uh, our activities in the ghetto basket uh, for the youth, the technology, which should be interesting to watching, you know, in a, in a, in a, in, in a season, I don't know, or something in the, in the shoes. I remember Nike have some uh, not not just the step counter, but something else. And uh, maybe you know some technologies which should be the interesting for the youth to do more the street sport like basketball and football. Yeah, um, one of the uh, thing that uh, I told before. Uh, w cool solution would be app because I know I'm coming also from a small city like Saldus, and sometimes when you wanna like play play uh, regular three, like three on three basketball, but in that day you haven't like, your best buddies there, and it, it would be cool that we had like an app where, where you can put that I would like to play for example a basketball in that day at that court outside. And maybe there are also some other uh, guys who would like interest to play, and uh, some that I wouldn't know even uh, know, uh, know the, uh, don't know them. Yeah, and that also be motivating. The second would be uh, maybe also uh, uh, to 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 give more knowledge to the youth to only be more uh, like overall become stronger overall athlete. It would be cool. Maybe some make some special tests during during these uh, comp also three on three basketball competitions where we can uh, m measure maybe someone's jump height or also uh, how uh, and then and measure to the best for uh, for the latvians uh, professional players 
or uh, NBA players, uh, players also motivate the new generation. They become also more, uh, not only uh, work on these skills, but also more work on their general strength and uh, power to become a very good overall athlete. Um, putting special sensors in the shoes, uh, it will be very, very expensive. Maybe 10 years uh, or 20 years after uh, we can do this if the technology becomes cheaper. And yeah, and uh, the also I told about the company Synergy that is also uh, making uh, these, these analytics about the place. Maybe we can yeah incorporate them more into into some three on three basketball to analyze your every every move, every spot where are you good from or you're bad from, and it also will motivate the young uh, players to develop their skills. Maybe his floater is very bad. He he needs to work more or more on more on his floater because the analytic is showing he's very good good uh, bad from the floater shot. He's good from the three pointers and exactor. You know. So, but now those uh, technologies are a little bit expensive to put it in a mass, right? So. Uh, yeah. So now, now it's a little bit too much. Yeah, but uh, if you gather masses, for example, like ghetto, ghetto games, uh, I think it should. But be that, but that means we need the more sensors. Uh, no, because you need good cameras. You need uh, for this kind of stuff. You don't need sensors. You need only cameras. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Th this is what we needed to hear today. <laughs> okay, once again, uh, make some noise. Davis Fekners, Polias. Let's take one photo together, and we are ready for the next guest. Um, yeah, let's take one photo.